Happy 2024. It is a good day to draft all day. Some LCI. Have I been drafting? Mm -mm -mm. I have not been drafting, which means my brain's knowledge has atrophied, but my mind's focus has never been better than today. Happy 2024, everyone. I missed all of you. Mwah. Uh, let's, let's look at some stuff to decide to put on. Ooh. Diamond pickaxe is pretty good. I like that. A fabrication foundry is a weird one, where it's like, exile one more artifacts with man value X, return target artifact card, man value X from your graveyard to the battlefield. This seems like the most constructed thing ever. Uh, what's an enterprising scallywag? Oh yeah, descend, create treasure token, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, quaddy scavenger is also quite nice. Oh, I'm remembering these cards. Oh my god, it feels good to be good again. Uh, Sushi Toad says, how's Bone Totem last night? Stasis, Bone Totem, is one of the greatest games released last year. Oops, I need to mark it. Click it on that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a diamond pickaxe. I see a dinosaur. Yeah, there's an armored kin collar. Oh yes, the Kawati Scavenger, the raccoon. Iron Paw Aspirant, I... I have historically just been a huge fan of. Well, I mean, I'm just literally going to get the Kinjali's Dawnrunner. Double Strike, and there's a battlefield that explores. Holds equipment well. Uh, Gold Fury Strider, I found very middling. Um, yeah, I, I want I want some good one-mana turkeys. Oltec Cloud Guard, I've been a big fan of. Now, it's funny, I think you guys can see what the draft picker is suggesting on Twitch. I don't. I don't have that stuff up. Because I don't even want to see it. Let's see. We have Pathfinding Axe Jaw, which I'm a fan of. Uh, Forgotten Monument. I'm not good enough to do this cave nonsense. What is a draft picker? I, I, I use Untapped Ninja Gaz, where you can hover over the cards and you can see, like, with a little pop-up. And if you didn't know that, literally just hover right now. Hey, look, it's Geological Appraiser. I'm going to mark that. Uh, yeah, you can hover over it, and it'll mark a thing, and that's grand. Not seeing it enabled on this side, really. I mean, it, it says it's just up and running. Is it not enabled on Twitch? Oh, oh my god. Extensions, my extensions. Oops. All right, sorry, I had it turned off on the Twitch side. How embarrassing. If you refresh, you'll definitely see it working now. Um, yeah, I, I really do like Geological Appraiser. I think it's good value, even though I don't play older formats. Yeah, the Earthshaker Dreadmaw is another good one. I'm, of course, clogging everything up. This is also how it looks like to be in a group setting with me when I'm feeling conversational. I'm just going to get the Geological Appraiser. What? It's Quinth is here? Yeah, I'm, I'm taking this one. Oh my god, this one's very, very, very good. And it's fourth pick? It's a 2-3 with haste that when it enters the battlefield, I can pay two. And then target dinosaur control deals damage equal to its power to another target creature. That's incredible. It's incroyable. Yeah, we're getting this. I don't really see anything in white that gets me to vibrating with excitement. Probably this. All right, th this is a weird one that we don't care that much about. I still don't know how contested game ball goes. I've been very impressed with Compass Gnome. Like, very, very, very impressed with Compass Gnome, generally speaking. I'm going to get the Nurturing Bristle back. But I mean, I, I, I'm kind of eager to begin snacking on some green stuff. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, hi. Hi, darling. Maybe just a volatile wanderglyph. Hi, hi, hello. Hi, hi, darling. Hi, baby. Look, she has her little paw on my on my shoulder. Okay, she wants to be held. Ow. Alright. 
Yeah, I, I think I think I'm just gonna get this uh, two two creature. I, I really like not falling behind on the board here and having some good two mana creature, especially with an it quint. That's also a very late Iron Paw aspirant. That's really tough, actually. Uh I, I I'm actually gonna get the Iron Paw Aspirant. Mm. Ah I don't I, I really don't know which one to do. I was I, I, I changed my mind at the last second, then changed my mind back at the last second again. Um it, it it's really tough because like the Iron Paw Aspirant is just an incredible card. I mean nurturing bristleback, we can sort of set aside, like mentally, on that last pick. Like the nurturing bristleback. Like, th this was effectively what I was working with before. Like, I could bail on its Quint. I could bail on Kinjali's Dawnrunner. But I think that this is okay. I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't have gotten the Explorer's Cache. River Herald Guide. Dude. Why do I ever, why do I ever, ever not listen to myself? Ever. This Iron Paw Aspirant wheeled all the way around. I could have had two of them. All right. All right. Bad build, bad build. Oh. I don't like any of these. Oh. This is better in Gruel Dinos than the other one, I think. Okay. Dude, wh why, why does this cat... She just has been wanting to be held all day today. Ah! Ouch! Well, see, she's she's happy. There she is. There's our girl. Um... I don't know. Hmm. Oof. Ah, oh my god, please. Please let go. Oh my god. <sighs> hmm, Trump and Chomp. Probably just one Triumph and Chomp, I think. Probably do. We have, we have some good red. Uh, I would be happy to have either of these on the wheel. I'm really not sure which color we are, except definitely red. I'm going to pretend there is no preacher of the schism. <laughs> Just going to close my eyes and pretend. Vanguard. Yeah. Vanguard of the Rose. Oh, I should have gotten that other Iron Paw Aspirant. We're also looking for those one mana flyers. One mana flyers would be great. Yeah, I, I don't think we're green anymore. We're a Boros aggro. What's in my mail? Nice. Got it out of the way. Bam. Milk bread. It says, good afternoon. Almost four years. Even though I don't really watch magic content anymore, I still enjoy your streams. Hey, thanks, milk bread. What game you been watching these days? Why don't you share with the class? Goblin Tomb Raider could be pretty good. I don't actually know how good Dowsing Device is. Is there anything else that's very good here? Probably going to get this and hope to have this on the wheel. All right. Dundrix says, Sean, what is your favorite bird? I don't... It's amazing to be asked what my favorite is of something that I just simply do not have an opinion on. <laughs> an Arctic Tern is my favorite bird. 
Brass is and the benefit of discarding number of cards. Draw the many cards plus one at the end of your end step. If you descended, put a boar counter. There are three more boar counters. I think this is good. It's not really what we're trying to do. I mean, I, I want to be more... Act like, this seems very good in general. But I don't know how good this is when I'm trying to be aggro. I'm going to get the Envoy. I know that that looks crazy, but... Oh, well, this is great. Am I referencing Colin Mockery? Yes. A turn. An Arctic turn. All right. Oh, there's another iron paw. I think I'm actually just getting the iron paw. I mean, I know Mistress Puff is supposed to be good, but like, I, I, I cannot stress to you how much I think that this is a very good card to have. No way. I also want the Tinker's Tote. I really, really want the Tinker's Tote, but you know what? I think I think that there's no one drafting white. I think that I, I needed to identify that a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, dude, I, I think that um, in terms of influence of my sense of humor, you might not be surprised that the number one and two are probably whose line is it anyways? And Mystery Science Theater Hour 3000. Those are probably the two biggest influences for me. Hence why I like really surrealist, oddball humor. Am I just spamming out Goblin Tomb Raiders? I think I can get another one of these more easily. Huh. It's a weird one. I don't think I I don't think I want two envoys. I, I I'm gonna grab this just cuz. Alright. Bear over there, like just don't care. Jofu says, I was an audience member and hypnotized to do improv with Colin on stage. Is there is there footage? Not that I don't believe you, but... Really? Alright, put that one in the back. Can I, like, maybe run this guy? Runaway boulder! Runaway boulder. All right. I'll take the brazen blade master. Ho ho, we got a rat colony, baby. <laughs> Let me mark what I'm going to pick first. What was the last thing that I got? Brazen Blade Master. That's actually not bad for the kind of aggro deck that we are. I mean, I think Vanguard of the Rose is just very good. But, but the problem right now that I'm having is that we don't have a lot of, of artifacts out here. We have Diamond Pickaxe. What I really need is the Tinker's Tote, basically. Yep. Dusk Rose Reliquary. There's also a Petrify.
This is this is tough. I think I, I hate to say it, but I'm actually gonna get petrify over this because I just don't have a lot of things to sack to this. I especially like this in black white, but I mean just a good old fashioned white removal I think is gonna be more so we want. There's the miner's guide wing. Thank god. I was hoping we would get some of these eventually, for god dang sake. Ugh. Urgh. Probably, probably our good friend Malamet. Well, we do have 17 creatures. I don't mind doubling up on Atali's favors, but they seem pretty easy to get access to. This is... No, I think I'm going to get the Atali's favor over the Malamet War Scribe. Oh, thank God. Tinker's Tote. Hey! If I can just get one of these in each of the picks for the next three pick. All right, that's what I want. One and a half. You're kidding me. There's a seventh pick petrify. All right. I just I also want more miners guide wings. I'm surprised there were so few of them showing up, but you know I guess we have goblin tomb raiders. Okay, what, what am I not that excited about? The Envoy I'm not, the Glorifier I'm not. This Child of Volcano I'm not. Ranaf says, you have no idea how much of a positive impact your constant good attitude has on my mental health. Hell yeah! Thrilled to hear it. Mischievous Pup is probably okay. This might be the last time I get one of these. I don't know. I'll try the Mistress Pup. Eh. Suppose I could get a Guide Wing. This looks okay. This looks okay. Does it look amazing? No. I don't know why you're asking me all the questions, huh? And if Sunscribe can really help a lot, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does this thing do? This thing sucks. I guess I'll get the crack shot. I guess. Um, I guess I get the hidden volcano. I guess. To the side. Uh... I think the Brazen Blade Master doesn't have enough upside in the list. I'm going to do 16 Landos. I mean, probably do this with the cave. Um, done. Finn, it's over. This deck does not look great. Sixteen, seventeen creatures. Yeah, seems all right. All right, all right. Happy New Year! Excellent. This is it. We've done it. We've done it. We have figured out the way to do it. Hey, Summer Night Sheriff. Good to see it. Hey, let's manage a prediction. How many wins am I gonna get on my very first draft of the year? I'll tell you my prediction. I'll tell you mine. This, to me, looks like a three or four that we'll get seven wins with anyways. Yeah? How correct would 15 lands be? Uh... 
I'd be a little scared. I don't have that much explore. I don't have that much... Mm. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. This this is the game. I don't have a lot of ways to get more cards. Because here's the thing. If I have ways of, like, exploring like this, I have multiple ways of doing that. If I had one of the things that you can cycle to get a land in your hand, if I had more ways of generating treasure, each of those, like, infinitesimally adds together to make me want to cut one more land. Because, I mean, like, technically, we only have these two four drops. They're very, very good four mana cards. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. I, don't, I just don't care that much. All right. Nice, really nice. Oh my god, so good. Oh my god. All right, here we go. I like the diamond pickaxe quite a lot. What does the lore keeper do again? Add one man of any color. Oh yeah, it's, it's a dino ramper. Fine. Fine. I'd like to indicate right now as one of the situations in which I am happy that I put in 16 lands. Okay, we have some options. I can Italia's favor on the Aspirant. I, I think that's not exactly what I want to do, I think. I think I'd rather Iron Paw and Goblin Tomb Raider. So, I'm going to do this. Swinging like this. This is a bad trade for them. Great. Maybe I should have held. I, I think I, I tend to do that too much. What does this guy do? Oh, yeah, the big descender. say no attacks, because again, I, I think that I, I tend to trade away too eagerly. Poison Dart Frog? No, it can't be. It can't be that the Death Touch Reacher that shuts it all down is here. Oh, never mind. We're fine. This guy's hosed. Alright, so we'll do everything. I actually do like this, right? I mean, I, I definitely cast this right now. The problem here is the reach. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go big on the ground. That's very good. Aha! Dude, I, I, I do not know still what that little gnome noise is. But every time I hear it, it sounds like a horny cicada. Every time. Every time. Ah. So I'm actually going to move this over to here and swing the air over there like you just don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, my opponent has has yet to leave two back to gain death touch. It's 
great. Growing rights of Itlamok, that's fine. All right. I mean, this is this is a real. Oh, this is the other one. This is like the Mega Mana gamer here. All right, let's do this. I mean, if I can just get my. All right. Hunter's blowgun. So this is going to get blocked by this no matter what. So that means I can move the diamond pickaxe somewhere. So this gets blocked. So there's one, two, three blockers. I have one, two, three, four swingers. Oh, this gets trampled? Oh. Oh, well that does it. So now what I can do is I can do planes. I can move this onto this. Then I can equip this onto this. And now this is critically a 6-7 with trample. So if I swing out, this has to block here because otherwise they kill. And then they have one, two, three blockers. This, with Death Touch and Trample, will deal one damage to each and then trample through for lethal. We've won the video game. Yeah, that resolves. <laughs> All right. One true cat girl. So just wanted to pop in and say that watching Baldur's Gate 3 VODs is so freaking fun. I'm absolutely floored laughing every time you whisper with them and still. <laughs> best content I've seen in years. Mwah. Says the best before that was SC2 VODs from before that. Much love chat and back to VOD watching. I go. Hope everyone's having a great new year. Well, hey, I want to let you know that coming up in March, we're doing a ton of Blizzard content. Now, you might be like, why March? My internet won't be fixed till February. Ugh. But we're gonna, we're gonna be coming back, baby. We're gonna be coming back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What kind of Blizzard content, dude. We're gonna be doing StarCraft One. We're gonna be doing StarCraft Two. We're gonna be doing some Hearthstone. We're gonna. I, I'm probably gonna do my first ever playing of World of Warcraft. I'm going to check out Diablo 4, probably for not more than a day. I'm going to play some... Oh, I'm really excited for some Heroes of the Storm. Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing it all, man. You never played WoW? Correct. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Warcraft 1, 2, and 3. Great call, Bard of Blarney. Great call. I completely forgot that I could play some of those. Oh my god, of course, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, because I, I know they did a um they did a remaster of Warcraft 3. I think it was called Warcraft 3 Recycled was the name of it. I can check that one out. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one now. Do I want the attentive <laughs> Yeah, I think I do want the attentive sunscribe. Or Warcraft 3 refunded. There it is. Yeah, Warcraft 3 refurbished as well. Alright, well. My opponent has some K. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna rib it. Look at this draw. Alright, so we're gonna play Tinker's Tote. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cicada time. River Herald Guide. Um, so this means I probably can't effectively swing with the... Actually, I, I, I'm certain I can. So I can do this kind of for free now. Do I want another mana? Oh, 
don't think I have any double white. Bang! It's me! Kaparakti Sunborn! Oh, Burning Sun Cavalry, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, yes, Vigilance. Well, my, I mean, I literally don't understand what my opponent's doing there, so we, we, we take those for sure. Okay. So now I can definitely swing with the Kaparakti. So what's the best play here? So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Geological Appraiser. Miner's Guidewing is actually great here. I will swing with both of these. This is two untapped creatures. Great. Do I actually want that one there? Yeah, yeah, I do. Because now whenever this attacks, I can go tap, tap, casting that for free. You know what? I, I think I'm I think I'm good on Iron Paw Aspirants. Yeah, my opponent, just literally by swinging like that, my opponent lost the whole video game. Fortunately, Magic the Gathering is now selling uh, packs with laudanum for players that swing with the only blocker that they really need. Same, same shit that you can have in Amnesia the Dark Descent whenever your vision starts to blur. You know that's happening on that side of the monitor, where that guy's just like, oh, why, why? I didn't know the gnomes could block. He just needs to guzzle some of that stuff. And it'll be okay in the next game, I think. <laughs> oh, Prince Phillips. I haven't caught you live in years. What a treat to get to tune in. It's lovely to have you. I'm just, I'm happy to be back streaming. I really am. Because, you know, th there's... Um, okay, so take when I used to drive to work. I would try to fill 30 minutes. And I started calling my friends. And then when I no longer had a job where I would drive somewhere, I just suddenly lost these 30 minute phone conversations that I was having all the time. And it was really nice to be able to get that back. Uh, or excuse me, it, it was really painful to lose that when all of a sudden I stopped going to and from work. And so I kind of had to recreate that by just deliberately calling friends. I normally do like a call a day at least with a, with a buddy just to say howdy. Just to put on my wet cowboy boots, put them up on my coffee table, and give my buddy a ring. Um, saying howdy. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like similarly when it comes to streaming, there's a kind of focus where I actually get to, for instance today, play Magic for six hours straight. And I know I'm like working at the time. But if I have like a busy, if I'm doing busy stuff outside of that, if I'm like seeing friends or working or doing house chores and so on. It's hard, for instance, over my staycation winter break. Oh, this is equipped too. All right. This is probably the most mana efficient play. Um, when I was over my winter break, I mean, it, it, it's actually, I found it harder to, like, actually have a set-aside six hours of, like, socializing and game playing and so on. All right, well, if there's only this guy, huh? I mean, I'm going to keep smashing in for three at a time. I would be very surprised if there was a three-man spell that could F me up like this, but, you know, what do I know? Ooh. Hey, so far so good. Yeah, so no, it's just nice to be back streaming. It's just really, really nice to be back chatting, chilling, streaming, having fun, having a nice time, socializing while playing. Oh, this is the this is the skele bouncer, huh? Alright, slow this bird down. This is whenever Kaparakti attacks, eh? Uh, 
I've lost the 1-1. One, one. Meow! Really love some more mana right now. Pathfinding fucking guy, huh? Uh, uh, land one time? That's actually alright. That's actually alright. Pathfinding X Jaw. Gotcha. This thing on this. Get in there. Got him at nine. Feeling fine. Uncle Fuzznet says, Sean, what's the last time you played Constructed on stream? I don't know. My internet was hosed in December. A Colossodactyl? Oh, please swing with a 3-2. Okay. Um, you know, how about this? I'll do... Doesn't really matter because I have treasure, so we'll do this. Explores. Triumphant Chomp is. It's gonna be two damage. Alright, so we'll leave that there. Alright. Alright, Zanny DeVito. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, the lore keeper. Yeah, I, I really think that this sort of trample death touch is gonna be pretty good. This creature explores, then it explores. We take we take our exploration very seriously. I did it. I did it. I, I solved esports. Okay. So, I'm going to put this on Kinjali's Dawn Runner. Which now. Yeah, I mean, I'll just play that. Play that guy. I'm now going to equip the Hunter's Blowgun onto Kinjali's Dawn Runner. It's now a, a double strike trample death toucher, which is oftentimes good. I'll swing in with that. It's good, huh? It's good. All right, I'll deal four damage, killing this immediately. I'll then deal another four damage to the face. Can this do any target? It's just target creatures. This would be this would be a little unfair if it was any target. Danny G says four bigger than three. Day nine really was a math major. Ah, that's not my mathematics speaking. In math, we only care about zero, one, infinity, and n. Those are the only ones. Chupacabra echo, get out of here. Oh, minus one, minus one. <laughs> well, it's it's quite small, you see. All right, well, I get, okay. <laughs> I killed him. I folded him up, turned him into casserole. Easy. All right, well, looks like we're winning. I know, and I made a joke about wet cowboy boots. We. We take our requests very seriously here at Day9 TV. Day9 bullying bronze players. Yeah, no, I should I should get banned. Again, it's okay. They get served there. Government issued laudanum. That's what's gonna happen when Day9 is president. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I don't know what his economic policy is, but ever since he's become president. Everything tastes delicious. 
you know, when I was younger and I, I played StarCraft One, there's this kind of funny thing where you look back at some of the things that were so intuitive at the time that we now have decades of research and learning and understanding that players don't like it. So as, as a very simple example, players don't really want to see their win-loss record at all because it's stressful. It feels bad. Oh, this game's about to get stupid. This game's about to get as dumb as a game can be dumb. It's Miner's Guide Wing O'Clock. Oh, yes. This, this is actually an issue. Uh, Sunfire Torches, that's a good one. That's a good one, isn't it? Please, just pass the turn, pass the turn, pass the turn, pass it. Pass the turn, pass the turn, pass the turn, pass the turn. Please pass the turn, please, please, please. That's fine. Literally 100% totally fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the Mountain. We're going to play the Hunter's Blowgun. We're gonna play the Goblin Tomb Raider. And we're gonna commence Operation Bing Bong for free. Bing Bong. No. We're probably gonna get our guide wing popped. That's fine. It's fine, I guess. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, so another person just gives them attacks. Player with the most life, tire for the most life. We make that. Whatever attacks, we have the most life. So this is gonna make a bunch of life link and vampire tokens, huh? So I think that actually the right thing to do is to equip this one here, giving it Death Touch. Because we're trying to punch in for a lot of damage here. And this is a good threat. This can only deal two damage. And which means that this is out of the range. This is a 1-1. One, one. And if it dies, we explore, which gives a little bit of additional value anyways. Um, so this, this is allowing us to punch in for some damage while they just don't have that much board presence. So then I can geologically appraise something. Plausibly. Burning Sun Cavalry. And I know that it's pronounced Cavalry. I know, but Cavalry is fun. Right. So let's let's see what we get. Let's see what the geological appraiser brings us. Alternatively, we could equip this on here, but that would only give us a single extra treasure. So I mean, this is this is the more efficient play. Not bad. I think we do swing with both of them here. Making of the one ones. It's a little bit a little bit bad, but I think we're still okay. Dude, Itali's favor with this hunter's blowgun has been ridiculous in these games. Because if we get Natali's favor, mmm. Bonk right on through. We've lost a 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a 1-2. One, a one-cost thing. I think I just chill. 
Yeah, I can kill the preacher of the schism. I get a pacify. Holy shit, that is bad for us. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's so fucking terrible. All right, one of the best cards in Constructed is uh, absolutely destructing us. It's all right, remember? Remember before we started this draft, I said, I think I'll get to four wins. And then, if we lose at four, because we just got unlucky, it just looks like I'm clairvoyant, you know what I mean? Hey, look at this. I just keep escalating. Metics is 62-69. Love the algorithm. You win a few in a row, and the game decides to give you all, all your mana and put all your high-value cards on the bottom. Dude, Matex, I'll be honest with you. It's a card game. There is no algorithm. The algorithm is shuffle the deck. Done! That's the whole algorithm. <laughs> no! I hate the algorithm. It fucking sucks! Fuck! You're right. This game is garbage. That's why I have 20,000 hours in it. I don't even hate the algorithm. The only bad algorithm is whatever the hell YouTube's doing. Alright. The play is clear. Stack my body full of plus one, plus one. Oops, I forgot to play Mountain. Well, that fucking sucks. Hope the preacher of the schism doesn't attack. Well, that fucking sucks. Alright, kill this guy. Next turn, though. Really? 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 Alright. Okay. Sure wish I played that mountain. <laughs> Target creature does stuff. Alright, we died. It's fine. We died. It's alright. I don't really care that much. Oh my god. Fucking aglets all over again over here on my phone. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't. No. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, restart the client. Oh, that's right. I do need to restart the client. Hey, that's good. That's a good one. Excellent. Okay. I think the Vanguard of the Rose is the right one to be playing here. Tally's favor on that makes this a 4-2 that has indestructibility. More importantly, Trample. Pass the turn. <gasps> pass the turn. Pass the turn. Yes. This is me, the attentive sun squibe. It is a good day to scribe. Oh man, if I get one more planes, things will never be the same. Don't do it. No, don't, Rubens. No. Rubens is such a hater, dude. Okay. All right. Let us let us first divine what is on the top with the sun scribe. It is a mountain. I care not for these. So we do it in this order because it gives us a little bit of control. Because for instance, if this goblin tomb raider was on the top, I would move it to the bottom because I want the geolog geological appraiser to get something that's a little bit better than that. Oh, we got some blowguns.
I mean... I mean... I'm just going in. I mean, not gonna overcomplicate stuff. Fiona the T-Rex, happy 11 months in a row. To Chris, happy 143 months in a row. What a, what a thrill it is to see ya. I want that one. Go for it. Oh, I love land destruction. My opponent has not had good three mana plays. I assume that this will also be harmful to them. Well. Ready, set, go. This is... Angel Life's Alright. Okay. Hunter's Blowgun. Nah, I don't want that one. We appear to be winning. My opponent has really not put up a fight. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel like I brought a battering ram to a thin layer of meniscus in front of this guy's entrance. <laughs> it's just like... One, two, three, four. I mean, we, we, we are absolutely plowing through Ruben's face right now. Now, you might be wondering, is it a concave or a convex meniscus? I don't know. I can't see very well from the back of this battering ram. All right? My God. I put in way more effort into that joke than I did into this match. Jeez Louise. The effort I put in for my audience. My God. <laughs> All right. More made up words. Yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. My phone keeps autocorrecting a word into another word. This is not a word. Trilobite is not a word. It's not a word. Someone type trilobite to me. Well, not someone. I mean, you type trilobite to me. Um, and I, I, I tried to type what's trilobite, and my phone autocorrected trilobite's trilogies. And I was like, ooh, let's watch Lord of the Rings. My phone was like, you probably meant a word. A trilobite is a, that's three bytes. Oh, I can't cast anything. Well, I mean, this is, this is actually a little close. This is a little bit close. Ooh, do I want to keep this? What's a trilobite? It's an extinct marine arthropod. <laughs> Today I learn. You know? <laughs> not unlike my opponent in last game. Are we, am I keeping this? Hell yeah. Oh, baby. Ooh, baby. You know, let's, let's get another mountain out there. Uh-oh. Well. It's okay. Iron paw, guffaw, guffaw. Oh my god. This trilobite here to give me a little hug. Oh, my opponent is stuck. Stuck, stuck, goose. Get out of there. Oops. Bing, bang, bong. 
My god. Lusica's about to become in more trouble than a trilobite, comma, an extinct marine arthropod. <laughs> that, though dead, their fossils look like they're all ready for hugs. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do this. Seems like the play of the day. Oh! Well, but I don't mind if I do. Keep the Discover 3 chain going. Oh! Did I just keep a one lander successfully? I'm so good. Okay, bye bye. I mean, we're doing the aggro thing correctly. Old Tech Cloud Guard. I, I I think that's that's probably not it. Um, what do I actually want to do here? There's a three and a three, so those can get blocked. Then it's a two, but it has trample, so. I mean, this is, this is awfully close to the W, huh? So what I should do is I should do it like this, because then this thing gets 4-2, and it has trample. All right. So then when I swing like this, it's extremely difficult for my opponent to ever do anything that will make them happy again. All right, nice. Very good. Dude, the, the Atali's favor giving Trample has been... has been instrumental for us. Five and one. I'm better than I think. <laughs> How good are you at the game? I'm better than I think. That's maybe the most arrogant way to say anything. Oh my god. Sean, how's the weight loss regimen going? I look better than I think. <laughs> who says who says anything like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm smarter than I think. That just creates a feedback loop of arrogance going forever. Oh man, I'm gonna eat some void lettuce. As he's, this is this is really interesting. This lettuce is really unusual. I don't know if you've ever seen this particular breed of lettuce, um, but if I if you hold it up, it becomes the number nine. Isn't that interesting? It just becomes the number nine. This is a stupid joke. It becomes the number nine. Isn't that interesting? It's more interesting than you think. It's more interesting than I think, actually. <laughs> I can even get the joke right. I'm funnier than I think. <laughs> Growing void lettuce is really hard. Yeah, it's really hard to see. You just you're surrounded by nines all the time. You know what? Oh, it's on the wrong monitor. There we go. Perfect. I haven't dropped a single frame today. My god. My god. My god. Jofa says Sean lost his mind over the break. A little bit. A little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit. This actually hurts. Oh. I'll play 
the Iron Paw Aspirin. This game is looking like it's going to be a little of me on the defense. These Is It decks can be really explosive, the blue, the blue red ones. What is. <laughs> Bigly Wiggly. Please, please find a land. Oh, thank goodness. Because I, I strongly suspect that if I can just start beating ass, then our little blue-red friend will fall behind. I mean, a Spyglass Siren is just not that great for stabilizing the board. And this is Craft with Artifact to make a 6-6. Six, six. All right. <sighs> Alright. Kaparakti. No attacks. Yeah, no. no it's, um, it's unclear to me why the stuff is busted right now, Ghosty. Oh, by the way, if any of you are curious uh, what's happening for the rest of the week, look at this. I have a little button I can press over here. Boom. That's right. Now, normally it'll be populated by more stuff, but I just haven't decided what I want to do next week. But I'm excited to play Baldur's Gate 3 again tomorrow. Oh, I knew this absolute turkey would play the 6-6. That's fine. I have some options. Thousand Moon's crack shot will be nice for tapping this. Or have you gotten in Baldur's Gate 3? I'm not quite up to date with those streams. I'd probably say like halfway but, um, through Act 2, Sherlinator. Maybe a little more. One boy in all the world. I know it's vibrating with excitement. There's no cure for waiting for Sean for more Baldur's Gate 3. You can't take some ibuprofen to fix the pain in your mind. Although you might try guzzling some colloidal silver. I mean, it won't help with the problem, but I think you'd look great as blue. All right. Borg Leader, Gift in the Five. Happy Tuesday to you, Borg Leader. It's good to be back. You may tap or untap target thing. No, no, no. Guide Wing is pretty good. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do this in a slightly weird order. I'm gonna play this guide wing. I'm gonna do the big swing outs. Da 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 da. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and pay this. We should leave a planes up. Great. Tapping this. Tapping this and this. That is so funny, dude. Yeah, who's who's doing Operation Bing Bong now, Bigly Wiggly? Bing Bong Bing Bong. Capsule Chorus says, is that, is that Colloidal Silver a reference to the Love Has Won documentary? No, no, I just... My understanding of Colloidal Silver is that it once upon a time was like a thing that people would consume for various maladies... And at some point, we just stopped guzzling colloidal silver. And those of us that didn't stop guzzling colloidal silver look like Smurfs. Look like... Look like mid-journey generating a photorealistic Smurf. And so, if you want to be like one boy in all the world and be desperate for more Baldur's Gate 3 content from me, which I... Can't deliver because I'm busy at the time. You could guzzle some colloidal silver. We're doing it. Panicked Altasaur. That's a bit of an issue. Well, I mean, I'm just going to draw a Petrify off the top, and it'll be fine. Watch this. Yeah. I 
I think I think I just go for it. Because this will get blocked, this will get blocked. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You leave that one back. Okay. Yep. Gotta do that one, right? Seems okay. Unless Bigly Wiggly really does some slaying. I think. You do it in this order, because there's ways for them to deal three damage. And I don't want to be a little low and then have them in response to that stuff. Sure, that's fine. I think putting this pup here was a mistake. Or was it? Or was it? It becomes sideways. So we have a couple of attackers that can deal a lot of damage. All right. All right. It's me, Sideways 9 TV, where we learn to lie sideways. That's an autobiography of my last month. I was planking because I'm into 2012. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Persephone's on hard mode today, huh? <laughs> Start sending me Simish. I need some more tea. Oh, dude, I got the most... I got the very most banging tea of all time. I was sent this... Holy shit, I don't even know... Like, you don't even understand. You can't even wrap your head around. It's... It, it has, like, citrus oil on the bag... And then it's just like cinnamon orange sort of flavor, but like the flavor is so rich that when you look at it and it's like, yeah, zero calories, and you drink it, it's just like there's no fucking way there's zero calories in this. And there is. There's no calories. It's just so good. Oh my god, I've been horking that. Now, if I don't draw a land, I'm gonna burst into tears. Is it hot or cold? I it never occurred to me that I could just make cold tea Tuesday Twitch. But it's hot. Like you. That's right. You say the brand? No, because it was a gift and I don't I it came in a box and I removed the tea from the box and threw the box away, and it's just a it's just bags now. I wish not to block. Mine I mean this miner's guidewing is gonna win the game. 
All right. Okay, bye-bye. Did I do it? Have I won? Did I do it? Is that, is that the game? Is Kona Loidal Silver <laughs> gonna finally go down the drain? Yeah, the brand is Bag. Oh, that tea was so good. Oh my god. I mean, if that's the trade that you want to do, that's the trade that we'll do, dude. Unlabeled tea, gifted, how will you do trust this person? Not at all. Literally, these ads are below. A box was left at my doorstep with unmarked of what I assume were tea bags. So I've been pouring boiling water on it and drinking it and going, I can't believe there's no calories in this shit. That's what's literally happening. Fucking no one trusts me. I don't understand. I'm an adult. I know how to do things. <laughs> These ads below says best wishes. <laughs> do, I, do I double block here? Because I'm getting a Hotly's final strike coming in. So, I mean, I could actually presumably double block this. All right, we're going. <laughs> All right, we're going in. I will not pay no mana. I, li I like to, I like to cast shit on main one because I'm an adult, you know. That's why I fill out the scantron before receiving the test. I just, you know, it's a confident way to do things. <laughs> do, do Zoomers have Scantra? Oh my god, fuck! Oh, great. Oh, oh my god. Oh, fantastic news. Oh, best news I've heard all day. Yeah, put it right there. Goblin Tomb Raider. Yeah, that's really good. Incredible news. Yeah, like, like in, because I, I am a millennial, born in 1986, I'm 37 years old. I'm 37 years young, he said, balding. Um, but, like, do, do, it, like do, do people born in the 90s, do you use Scantrons? Do you have Scantrons? A Scantron is like a a sheet of paper that you had to use a number two pencil to fill in your answers, and they would just, they would just, you know, they just put your answers in, and it would just be like, ah, I've got a 62, he sucks. So I don't block this, because Whatley's final strike will absolutely strike with finality here. Are 90 Zoomers? I, I don't know anything at all, Tuesday Twitch. So you're going to have to consult someone else for that. All I know is that I'm confident that I'm going to absolutely dunk on Conaloidal Silver over here. Zatinka's Tote. What is replaced Scantrons? I think... I think it's online learning because the pandemic ruined everything. Yeah, well, well, there's also something I'm deeply aware of, which is I'm like, can the Zoomers answer a question for me? And no Zoomers fucking watch this show. You're all, you're all crusty and crinkly and have a hip pain. I know it. I know it. I have it. You have it. We both have it. Oh, yeah. Petrify this guy, I guess. I'll do a final strike. Never mind. I lied. Trillinators is mean and accurate. Dude, I like getting older. Getting older fucking rules. Oh, alright, well. Looks like some absolute final striking is about to happen.
Aging is awesome for any of you that don't know. Alright, so you, and then I'm gonna final strike the goblin guide. Mer. Alright, what are we doing? Rust Pulse is unironically in my best shape at the moment. 30s are great, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited to age. Oh, this gives plus one, plus oh? Alright, this game, we are. We're screwed! Whole, oh my god, what an absolute insane draw. This is the most insane draw you could have gotten. Mamma mia. Well, I guess I'll just draw Petrify off the top. That'll have to be that. I can't believe five mana card off the top. Really? Rally? This is right. Huh. Oh my god, Kutzel? Really? Frickin' Kutzel? Gimme, get out of here. Alright. Oh, are we swinging? Oh, are we swinging? Okay. This kind of helps. Because then if I get something good, I can equip it on the Geological Appraiser. So I can return one target permanent I control to its owner's hand. And I think I'm going to just be returning the Geological Appraiser. Turn the Petrify, it doesn't really help us that much. No, this is this is probably right. Because then I can actually swing with all three of these. 4-4 four, four will be petrified. Alright. Go for it. No clue why this one is swinging. Heavens to Betsy. Because if these both swing, then I can just petrify Kutzel. Pretty cool, right? Alright, nothing's happening. Alright, time to subscribe. That's my guy. So, if I block this, then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we do need to block like this, because we, we can't let Conaloid deal damage. Because if Conaloid, uh, if this Attentive Sunscribe deals damage, Kutzil says, if it deals damage and it has power greater than its base power, you draw a card. So now, Colonel Lloyd is in a bit of a tricky pickle. But, uh... There's no way you have a second hexproof thingy. There's no way, no, no one's ever run two family reunions. Alright. Because you gotta eat one of these. What? So that, so they still... Lose? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Does it have lifelink? I'm the best player who ever lived! Woo! Yeah! Hey, wet fartosis. It's great to see you. Happy 15 months. Did we just get the seven? We got seven wins. First draft back. <gasps> Being in Bronze League pays its dividends. My God, the 30s are great. And by the time I hit 40, I will be the most vivacious I have ever been. Covered in seven win runs. Mm. I'm, I'm current. My rank is currently colloidal silver four. It feels really good.
Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, oh, Dr. Ants, great to see you. Happy Tuesday, Dr. Ants. Hey, let's manage your prediction. The believers have it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Hey, Gleeked on Guy. Oh my god, the wonderful gifted 10 subs. Gleeked on Guy, a happy Tuesday to you. We're gonna we're gonna do another draft effectively right now. I just need to use a restroom real quick. Um Wow, wow. And all of you, all of you who predicted I'd win seven, and one of you who predicted I'd win all of them, you're all right. You're all correct. <laughs>